हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दी वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन एट जीरो फाइव वन टाइमर प्रोग्रामिंग यूजिंग सी एंड हियर वी आर डिस्कसिंग दी टाइमर जीरो मोड वन ऑपरेशन फॉर जनरेटिंग अ डिले ऑफ फिफ्टी मिली सेकेंड्स सो दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट तो राइट एट जीरो फाइव वन सी प्रोग्राम टू टॉगल ओनली बिट पी वन पॉइंट फाइव कंटिन्यूसली एवरी फिफ्टी मिली सेकेंड्स so that means here we are interested in generating a delay of 50 milliseconds using timer 0 in mode 1 assuming crystal frequency of 11.0592 megahertz so first uh, step in this is you have to calculate the count corresponding to the 50 milliseconds delay so here are the steps for generating the count value corresponding to this delay so the in first step you have to divide the desired time delay by 1.085 microseconds because here we are using the frequency of 11.0592 megahertz so the first step is you divide this 50 milliseconds by 1.085 microseconds so it comes out to be 46083 now in step number 2 you have to perform or you have to subtract this value from 65536 now why 65536 because here we are using mode 1 and mode 1 is a 16 bit mode so 2 raised to 16 will give you 65536 so you have to subtract this value from 65536 So six five five three six minus this value will give you one nine four five three, but this number is in a decimal. So in the third step, you have to convert the result into the hexadecimal number. So when we convert this one nine four five three decimal to hexadecimal, we'll get four B F D. So now this is the count that we are going to load in the timer registers for generating a delay of. 50 milliseconds so here uh, in th and tl register what we are going to load so we are going to load the xx value that means this lower four bits in tl and upper four in th register now here we are using a timer 0 uh, therefore we are using the registers tl0 and th0 so in tl0 i am going to load 0 xfd and in th0 i am going to load 0 xf so whenever you uh, go for any problem of delay generation the first step is you have to calculate the count value and this is a procedure for calculating the value for mode 1 now we'll see the uh, programming for this so this is a program so the first line is Uh, you have to include the header file hash include reg fifty one dot h. Then here I have declared the delay. Uh, here I am using timer zero in mode one, so I have given the name t zero m one delay. Here I want to toggle a single port pin that is p one point five, so I have declared it as a s bit. I have given some name as a my bit is equal to p one carat five. now see this name you can give anything else and now in the program wherever you want to use port pin 1.5 instead of that now you use my bit now uh, in the main program uh, i have to set the t mod register indicating the timer 0 in mode 1 now this is the t mod format uh, so the lower four bits if you can see they are for timer 0 and the upper four bits are for timer 1 uh here we are dealing with the timer 0 so i have first uh, given all zeros to timer 1 so 0 0 0 0 for timer 0 the gate bit is always 0 uh, c oblique t counter oblique timer mode you want you want the timer mode so it is also 0 and here we are using a mode 1 so i am setting the bits m1 and m0 as 0 1 so this is the binary representation and if you convert it into hex it will become 0 and 1 and therefore in programming i am going to load my t mod register with a value 0 x 0 1 this x represent the hexadecimal number only so here i have um, 
given t mod is equal to 0 x 0 1 indicating that I am using timer 0 in mode 1. Now in the while loop uh, because I want to generate uh, the delay continuously my bit is equal to invert by my bit because here I want to toggle a single port pin. The meaning of toggling is just making 0 and 1. So here I have used, used this operator and then after that I have called a delay. So once it become 1 delay will be called then it will become 0 then delay will be called. Now when this T0 M1 delay is called your control will go to this delay routine. Now in the delay routine uh, I have loaded the counts uh, TL0 with FD, TH0 with FD. Just now we have discussed this thing and you have to start the timer. Uh, this TR bit and TF bit they are uh, related with the TCON register. So these details I have already explained in my previous video. So you can refer that I will provide the link in the description box. Uh, now see here uh, after starting your timer, uh, your timer actually starts counting. Okay, So now it is going to start counting from this 4BFD to FFFF. So unless and until it starts counting, it completes its counting up to FFFF and back to 0. Uh, actually you have to wait for or you have to pull the overflow flag. So here you are going to check the TA flag TF 0 as we are dealing with a timer 0. So see here uh, what happens exactly here. When you start the timer, so this is your count value 4 b f d is my count value so when you start your timer when you make tr 0 is equal to 1 it will start incrementing so 4 b f e then it will go to 4 b f f and so on and then finally it will reach f f f f once it reach f f f f then it will again roll back to 0 0 and at this time it will set this tf 0 equal to 1 so unless and until it reaches this fffff you have to wait over here so i have written while tf 0 equal to equal to 0 that means here you have to wait on the same instruction unless and until this overflow flag becomes 1 now once the flag becomes 1 it this condition will be false and it will come out of the loop and it will make again this TF0 is equal to 0 and also this TR0 is equal to 0 for the next equation. So this is what is a, a program for generating a delay of 50 milliseconds. Now I will uh, show you the kill demonstration for this uh, same program and the output for the same. So this is the program uh, just now we have discussed. header file, declarations and everything same whatever just now we have discussed. Now I am going to run this program. Uh, one important thing is here you have to check for a frequency. So how to check? So right click on target 1. Go to options for target 1. And here you have to check the frequency 11.0592 MHz. Because if it is not uh, set to this value, your delay reading may get wrong. So once you set this, go to debug, click on OK. Here you want to check the toggling of port pin 1.5. So take port 1 from this IO ports. Then also you take the timer 0. And we are going to check the output on logic analyzer window. So uh, here in logic analyzer, first you have to do some settings. So for the, uh, that reason you have to click on setup and whatever is a previous setting you first kill all the setting and go with the new setting. Here give the port 1 then you select this and click close. So now your, your program is ready to run and now I will run this program. Now see here. Uh, you can see here my port pin 1.5 is continuously toggling with a delay of 50 milliseconds. Here timer is continuously uh, incrementing because I have run the program continuously. 
and now we'll measure the uh, delay value so now uh, this delay means we, we measure this on period normally so let us measure the value put the cursor exactly so that you can get the exact delay value for this so see here if you can see uh, under this delta you will get the reading and it is 50.17 milliseconds so this is how uh, you can generate the delay of 50 milliseconds using the timer 0 in mode 1. So if you like my video then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please share the video with your friends. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.